It is a challenging time of year. Winter in North Idaho is long and cold. The snow is deep. The sun only appears for a short window during the day and only if the skies of gray decide to relinquish their atmospheric monopoly for a time. Frost covers the small limbs of the dormant trees waiting for spring. For some, this causes depression or a condition known as seasonal affective disorder. But that's not my challenge. Though my challenge does stem from winter conditions, it is something entirely different than seasonal affective disorder. The livestock pens are empty. Nary a creature is grazing in the pasture. The pasture is buried under a thick blanket of snow after all. The only homestead chore that requires my regular attention is maintenance of the fowl. Such maintenance is limited to providing them with a scoop of feed. Some snow for their water. And the collection of their eggs. The winter does provide a welcome break from the physical burdens of the growing season. Mostly my time is still spent downloading client video files, editing the videos, and oh, uploading goodness. them. I've had three implants, implants placed, one bent. I'm not complaining at all. This is my job and how I earn a living. <laughs> but this is a homesteading YouTube channel. The challenge the winter brings me is making homesteading videos when there isn't much homesteading happening. I can't make videos about me editing all day, every day. Well, I could, but that would be dreadfully boring to the viewers. I have to be more creative. I know it can be done because I've managed through last winter posting a weekly video, but I feel it's a real struggle this year. When I make a video, I want it to be of value. I fear I'm just not creative enough to make anything of value right now. That said, the best idea I had for this show is to answer your most recent questions in the comments section. Here we go. From my traditional baking curing video, Willow River Ranch asks, how would I make Canadian bacon or ham? American bacon is the meat from the belly of the pork. So the pork belly cured turns into bacon. To get Canadian bacon, that comes from the back. 
so the the loin of the pig if you watch my traditional baking curing video i'll leave a link down in the description follow that same exact process just use the back loin of the pig instead of the belly you'll get canadian bacon on the same baking curing video pola vink asks what if i do not want it smoked just salted it's perfectly fine just skip the smoking part and enjoy your bacon unsmoked this is a question from my last video, My Hydrant is Missing. Pamela Kissinger asks, How much did the neighbor charge to wreck your water spigot? One, it was an accident. Two, as many people have pointed out, I should have had it staked, had it marked, so you could find the hydrant um, underneath all the snow. This is my sixth winter here, and my neighbor's been plowing every winter, and this has never been an issue, so I'm not sure why this winter he made the mistake, but it was just a mistake. As for paying him, I give him 200 bucks every season, and he keeps the whole private road plowed in our driveway, so it's a really good deal. This next question comes from Super Stony Stogie. Regarding my video, Kuni Kuni Pigs with the traditional Catholic homestead. He writes, since it's Catholic homestead, do you make sure your pigs remain abstinent? This is a question on her You Pick Flower Farm was profitable after one month. Robin McBride asks, Location, please? Your garden is great, but it helps to compare our climates and soil to decide about what to grow. Here, we're in North Idaho, the northern panhandle. Our climate zone is 6A, 5B, I think we're close on that line right there. From my recent My Chickens Are In Peril video, Daniela Furlan asks, did I miss something? Where are the sheep? Yes, Daniela, you did miss something. You missed my harvest videos. Uh, in the fall, I harvest the lambs and I get new ones in the spring. And this one is just a general question from Brad Delp. Hey Dan, I wonder if you had considered rabbit farming for meat as well. I actually had some rabbits here on, on the homestead for a while. I had a silver fox rabbit, which is a meat breed, or it can be a meat breed. And then I had two mini rexes, which were for show rabbits, because we were gonna get little bunny in 4-H, and then that didn't happen. I didn't like keeping them in cages, so I was trying to attract them on the grass, and that system was kind of a hassle, so. They just weren't really fitting into everything else I was doing on the homestead at the time. And the other thing about it was, I was kind of having a mental issue with killing the little bunnies. They are really cute. I don't like bunnies. I also like to eat them. Hopefully next week we'll have some more homesteading related content going on here on the Grassfed Homestead. And if you guys have some content requests for some things you'd like to see, leave a comment down below.